Hello and welcome to episode 22 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be learning on learning the skill, the pottery skill. Then we will learn the kiln skill and then we will make a new container that can hold 14 items, which is the large urn. First, I want to thank Joseph for explaining that it is currently the cold snap. It's been a cold snap for the last few days, roughly, he says. He says, And that the this bottom left box down here, um, whoops, I didn't want to walk over there. This bottom left box over here shows you also the uh, which season it is. Remember, there's three types of seasons. There's Everbloom, the cold snap, and um, I'm not going to go into the third one yet. I'm going to do, uh, cover seasons and all the information about them later. But for now, thank you, Joseph, for pointing out that this is showing us down here in this little picture that it's a cold snap. I imagine that you'd see snow and stuff, but um, this is how it displays it being a cold snap. A uh, cold snap does have benefits. I'll, I'll go into all of that with seasons and the benefits of the different seasons and the, the disadvantages in another episode. For now, thank you, Joseph, for sharing this information. Very kind of you. And thank you for watching. So let's make a start then on the pottery skill. To learn pottery, let's bring up the skills first of all. Let's find the skill in question. which is that one there, notice it's white, which is good. That means we got the proficiencies to learn it. To learn pottery, we will need 700 arts and crafts, 500 herbs and sprouts, and 400 sparks and embers. To achieve this, you will need one smooth stone, one lumberwood figurine, and two leafy leftovers. Now, notice that in this, um, series as I'm progressing I'm trying to show you using basic simple items that as a new player you will have access to and the smooth stones you know we find lying on the ground they look like a little stone icon these are flints uh, so you'll find smooth stones in logs and laying on the ground they're easy to get hence why we use smoke smooth stones I've been using leaf whistles uh, grass whistles previously again because they're very easy to make providing you're near water so I will try to keep all the items I use for getting my inspirational points uh, I will try to keep it to basic items that you will get access to as we unlock um, further inspirationals so hence why I've chose to use the lumberwood figurine and two leafy leftovers so let's first show you them two inspirationals because that's what they are so if we go to craft inspirationals first of all lifty left leafy leftovers is in collections and pot pourries and you will see this is the leafy leftovers if I click on it you will see that you will need two myrtle oak leaves which you get from the uh, myrtle oak bushes um, am I able to show you that oh. I must dig up uproot some and put them there by I must even show doing that actually um, I know that there's one there yeah, they are see them over there that's the bushes to get these leaves to get uh, oak duff leaves, right click on a tree like this. Ah, as luck would not have it, I think I've picked them all. Yeah, so you right click on one of these trees and it will say something like search duff. And that's how you get the oak duff leaves. The maple leaves, of course, we get from maple trees. And can I show you a maple tree? No, no such luck. Wow. Well, once we get into um, gardening and forestry, then I can plant all sorts of trees. Well, I can plant maple trees and these oak duff trees nearby to show you. But you, you have seen the maple trees. They are the reddish looking ones uh, that you've seen in the previous episode. So you can see that all three components are easy to get. When you make a lifty, leafy leftover, it gives you a stack of three. 
Okay, so we'll be using that. The next one, the Lumberwood figurine, again, go to Craft, go into Inspirationals, and it's in Toys. In Toys, you will see um, the Lumberwood figurine is that one there. If we click, you will see that you need one log chopped from a tree, three branches picked from a tree, and two pine scales. So basically, you right-click a pine cone and left-click remove cone scales. So again, easy to get the components, hence why I'm showing you using them them free components, because they're easy to get. So, right, okay, let's study these in the order that I've said, and then unlock the pottery skill. So we will study the smooth stone. Mm. We will study the lumberwood figurine. Mm. And we will study two leafy leftovers. Let's eat something. What do I want to eat? Um, notice I've got my humours up now. My black bile's on eight. My yellow bile, ten. Phlegm, ten. And my blood is nine. So I just need to do one more point in my blood, two more in black bile. I will then have reached ten in each. So, and you can see my inspirational has been kept nearly maxed at the moment, so I'm not too worried about quaffing potions. But you will see later on. For those of you that get knocked out, please do not worry about getting knocked out. It doesn't matter if you lose all your inspiration. Maybe it's a little harmful in the very early days, but then you can make that 6,000 potion 6000 inspiration potion that i showed you previously easy to make all right not in cold snap when there's no butterflies but you can make butterflies out of caterpillars it's all good and anyway later on i'm going to be showing you how to make potions which can give you up to a maximum of 750000 inspiration which we can't even get that much yet um, my other character who has progressed nicely his now goes up to uh, 900,000 here um, I'm quite sure he can get more than that but I'm using it up before it maxes out so anyway it's all good don't worry about the fact if you get knocked out I'll be showing you in later episodes how to make inspirational potions and get more inspiration than you could possibly want to do with it so there we go right let's eat um, one of these to get that back up let's study one more leafy leftover there we go we've now unlocked the pottery skill so let's buy that okay so if we go down here and have a quick look pottery allows you to make things from clay you acquire and that's exactly what we will be doing. Okay, that has un unlocked two important things for us. One, it has unlocked kiln construction. So let's show you. Okay, so it's unlocked kiln construction. Notice it's red. Oh yeah, we got a bit of work to do. But the gamester's ready to do a bit of work. So that's one thing that we're gonna, it's unlocked is the kiln construction. Also, it has unlocked our next container, which is, let's close that. If we go to build and containers, okay, it's not unlocked it yet. It's unlocked a clay trough though, <laughs> but that is not what I wanted. So, what I will do, is we will carry on and do the kiln construction. Maybe that will unlock the um, large... Oh, no, 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 I know why. I'm being very silly. Uh, the large urn appears in tools and miscellaneous tools. There we are, there's the large urn. So, yep, yeah, I was being a bit silly. I mean, remember, it does flash green until you log out of showing you where new items that you've unlocked will be. So there we are. That's the two important things it's unlocked for us. Kiln construction and the large urn so I can make bigger containers. Because, I mean, look at this. It's getting crazy with these because they just simply aren't big enough. So we're getting lots. But am I bothered? Not at all. Okay, so moving on. So now we must learn the kiln construction skill. But as you can see, it's red. 
To learn kiln construction, we will need 1200 arts and crafts, 900 herbs and sprouts, and 1100 sparks and embers. Notice our arts and crafts is okay, but we need to raise our herbs and sprouts once. So, herbs and sprouts, we need to raise that once to get it to nine. Uh, well, when we raise it, it'll go to a thousand, which will cover the 900 we need and we also need to raise our sparks and embers by one which will get it to 1100 which is perfect because that's what we need okay to do that we will use four flaming pine cones so hence why i've got flaming pine cones so let's step over to the fire you will see that I have already put some fuel into it and filled it up. Always like to fill up my uh, um, fireplaces and other items we heat. Okay, now we need to light it, so let's lose, use the tinder drill. Now remember, with the flying, flaming pine cones, we're going to need to use them quickly because they will disintegrate after a few, couple of minutes. So to make the flaming pine cone, right click the fire. I love that sound. Okay, and now we will study. Hmm. And study another one. Hmm. We will eat. Okay. So now what we will do is we will raise our sparks and embers. That's now okay. In fact, we have now unlocked kiln construction. So fantastic just by doing that. So just by using two of the flaming pine cones. Now, however, we will need to carry on. Now to learn the uh, kiln construction skill we will use two spinning tops and floor four flaming pine cones so let's study these before hmm. they disintegrate hmm. okay well not four we only needed two flaming pine cones so that actually worked out rather perfect sometimes it goes against me but sometimes the game actually works with me which is always good so we've met the criteria for herbs and sprouts and sparks and embers we now just need we just need to now get our arts and crafts to 1200 which we can do with the um, spinning top two spinning tops but let's see so to make the spinning top we go craft inspirationals and toys there is the spinning top and notice we will need one chopped wood block and one sharpened stick, which I've got already to save time. So we'll go over to the whittling bench. Remember, every time you use the whittling bench, you get a bit of, uh, it lowers insanity a tiny bit. So let's right click the whittling bench, click craft. Okay, we now have two spinning tops. Let's see if I was correct, if this unlocks it. So we will study, we will eat. Wait for our black bile to get up. And we will study another one. And there we are, we've now unlocked kiln construction. Okay, kiln construction allows you to build them sturdier than most. So there we go. Right, that's our kiln construction done. Okay, we can now make a kiln. You will need to make a kiln 30 clay. Now, I'm not going to make you sit there while I dig 30 clay hence why there's now containers scattered all over the place. What I will do is we I've dug them up already in preparation for making them. Now when you dig clay, okay I was digging over here, first thing do, do try to keep your clay level um, not too, try to keep it even, don't 
dig too deep in one spot otherwise it may stop you being able to dig somewhere else if it says it's too steep I just have that good a habit of because also when you're trying to walk across the map if it's uh, too deep you're going to have to climb over it which will take time and that can get annoying so golden tip to you try to keep your clay level even all the way across it if you're digging it also while you're digging clay you have an opportunity a rare chance to get a misshapen lump of clay which is very good for the, the um, proficiency stats as you can see very very nice and they you do get them quite a bit but they are a rare find as you dig clay okay let's minimize that let's go grab some more clay and let's oh I'm gonna be going too slow now where do we put the kiln so let's give you a few pointers on the kiln first of all make the kiln on your claim if you do not kilns will take damage off 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 your claim if it's off your claim it will slowly get damaged and eventually be destroyed also um, people will be able to take the items out of your kiln so build your kiln on your claim okay you will need flat land to build your kiln so what we will do is to build the kiln go to build and tools and utilities no okay it always does that to me buildings and structures and there we are there's the kiln okay now it will need flat ground and also try to kill it as near to the tree as possible now I'm going to extend my claim a little to the left not too much though um, because I'm not seeking to go in that direction too much although I think that should be good let's try there I don't mind extending it that much yeah, there we go. Now, why next to the tree? Well, of course, for fuel. Branches. You get an unlimited amount of branches from trees, campfires near trees, and also kilns near trees. But the kiln, where's the campfire? I'm not bothered that it's off my claim. The, the kiln, I most certainly am. So, let's now make this kiln. As you can see, it requires 30 lumps of clay. Ah, now notice what it just did there. Chewed up my rare bit of misshapen clay. I don't want to do that, so let's pull it back and build. Be very careful of that. When you dig clay, if you get these rare misshapen lumps, put them into containers or your backpack before you start building. Because it's so easy. So many times I've chewed up a rare lump by mistake that way. Now, let's see, I just wanna get rid of this lump of clay because I know I'm gonna end up doing that. Uh, oh, let's grab a bit of fruit and put that in there. Right, okay, no chance of us losing it now. What I will do, let's go grab some more clay. It should be in here. I don't mind so if someone takes these um, baskets, they're welcome to them. You know, it's all about uh, just prioritizing what's valuable and what's not. If it's not, don't worry about it. Let someone have it. Okay, so as you can see, we need nine more clay. Let's drop the first one in and shift scroll and build. There we are. That is done. How fantastic is that? We now have our kiln. If I right click on it, you will see it has 25 slots so we can fit 25 clay in there uh, notice over here is for fuel so that's the first thing we will do to fill it up with fuel we are gonna we're gonna pick branches that's why we did it right next to the tree now the kiln takes a lot more branches than the fire so just to mention to we're going to next make a large urn to make a large urn you will need at least 12 sticks put into the kiln now here's a rare broken bow okay one thing i will mention about the broken bow is if we use just sticks they will fill up the no oh, did i actually put that in there okay when we use sticks they fill it up very slightly if you use a broken 
about. Now I know it's got stats for proficiencies, but I just want to show you this. If we use that, it fills up a lot more than just a pure branch. So bear that in mind. If you have plenty of broken boughs, then use them for fuel. Why not? I do. But that might just be because I'm a bit crazy. See, I just threw another one in just to sh make emphasize my point. There we go. That's enough. That will get us what we want, which is, of course, a large urn. Okay. Right, time to make this large urn. You will need, to make a large urn, you will need two bricks and eight clay. To make two bricks, we will just need to put two clay into the kiln and they will fire into bricks. Okay, so first of all, let's dig two clay. And I'm gonna dig it from here because it's a bit of a mess over here. There is not enough clearance, okay. The reason there's not enough clearance is it's too close to this water. So it won't let us dig there. So what we'll do, we'll come to over here. Why not? We only need two clay, like I say, to make two bricks. There we go, we got two clay. Now what we'll do, right click the kiln, shift click the uh, clay into the kiln. Okay, we now need to light the kiln for the clay to turn fire into bricks. So fortunately, I've done like I said to you, I've made a load of tinders here. Let's light the kiln. So to light the kiln, you can just use a tinder like you do with a fireplace. Okay, notice that as you make kilns, if you have more than one kiln, you'll notice they emit different coloured smoke. This is doing green smoke, but they do all sorts of lovely colours. It looks so cool. So there we are. You can see the timers now going on this. To make, so we've made, we put the, the clay in here. They're going to fire now into bricks. Clay takes 15 minutes to turn into bricks. So these will take 15 minutes. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you sit there for 15 minutes. What I am gonna do is come over here and grab two bricks. Now, when you're making bricks, when you put fill up the kiln with clay and they're firing into bricks, there is a rare chance that you will get an assortment of different bricks. Here is a brick of fallen babel. Notice the lovely proficiency stats. Here is a brick of fallen Jericho. You can also get a brick of fallen Sodom and Gomorrah, and they all have good proficiency stats. So I'm not gonna use them, I'm just gonna keep them there because it'd be a waste at the moment with my proficiencies too so low. But there you go, that's just some of the rare bricks that you can get when firing clay into bricks. Anyway, we've got our two clay. Time to dig then eight lumps of clay. Because to make the large urn, like I say, we will need two bricks and eight lumps of clay. Okay, I'm just gonna check my notes for a moment. Okay, right, let's dig some more clay. Oh, for goodness sake, I know you're having a go at me for not having the clay, but look, how many containers did you want me to make? About 100 here, just storing clay? I think not. It also helps to show you digging all the time and making clay and all of this. Maybe we'll get some more rare clay, a misshapen lump. Anyway, we need eight. Enough waffling, let's just do it. Also, watch your humours. Not sure it'll knock me out, but I'm not prepared to take the chance because I've got it maxed at the moment, my inspiration. So two, four, five, six, two more we want. Let's start digging over here. Because like I say, try and keep it all even. And one more. There we go, two, four, six, eight. Right, now that we've got the components, two bricks, eight clay, we go to bit craft, whoops. Let's go back. So we go to craft, we go to tools, and we go to miscellaneous tools, and we left click large urn. There we are, it will highlight all of the items and then click craft. 
Okay, we now have an unburnt large urn. So what we'll do, we will take that over to our kiln, right click the kiln, and shift click the large urn in there. And there we go. So remember, to fire the large urn up, you will need 12 sticks as fuel. I normally get in the habit though of filling it right up to the top, which I will do off camera. I don't want to waste your time filling it up with fuel. Remember though, pick branches, then to sh shift click them into the um, kiln. The last thing I want to mention to you is it will take 20 minutes for an unburnt large urn to fire into a large urn. We will take a look at the large urn in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode on pottery. Goodbye.